Woof woof, chili pepper dog here. And today we're talking about the whys of staff fighting, or in other words, what benefits does staff fighting bring to your overall martial game? And first on our list is... Maybe this is an odd place to start, but guaranteed even a skinny, nearsighted, middle-aged man such as myself swinging a staff at you, you will feel some fear. Fear in this case is a positive thing as it will help you develop several beneficial aspects. Let's start with reaction time. The fear of getting hit with a stick is definitely going to motivate you to improve your skills. Specifically, you're going to want to work on your blocking. Because the staff gives you extra options when you block, there's more choices to be made. And as a result, your reaction time will improve as you put in the work. To help train this, I would suggest working blocks and strikes together. Strikes are fairly straightforward technically, blocks require a lot more work. Pairing them together though means you're not at a loss when you're actually sparring. The intimidation of facing a staff automatically means you're going to be outside of your comfort zone. And that's a good thing. If you're comfortable, you're not making progress. Getting away from the fear factor, our next benefits are speed and power. And these two develop together. You can't have speed without power and vice versa. Learning how to develop speed and power will have a direct benefit to the rest of your martial practices. I'm going to pair the next two benefits together as well. Bilateralism and Expanded Horizons. Wielding a weapon in each hand is a hallmark of the Filipino martial arts, and you're pretty much forced to do so when it comes to staff. As such, it will have a direct benefit on your ability to wield two weapons. The important thing here is to make sure that you're taking turns as to which hand is leading. If you're always leading with your dominant hand, your dominant hand just gets better at that. Switch back and forth between your dominant and your complementary hands. I also mentioned Expanded Horizons, and the idea here is that learning how to make a staff move and managing the extra length of the weapon is going to have direct benefits to your ability to wield two sticks. I have to say I found this chapter far more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Next chapter is going to be a lot easier. It's on combinations. And as always, please leave a like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment below.